Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today in the morning, the Kenya Kwanza team had a prayer session at the official residence of the Deputy President, William Samuel Ruto, in Karen. And in that prayer session, they declared very clear that the war they are facing in this election is not a political contest, but a spiritual battle. And in that press session, we saw William Samai Ruto, who was overwhelmed with the emotion to an extent he could not hold his tears. I have seen most of the UDA supporters in Kenya Kwanza and those who believe in William Ruto ideology sharing out those videos in their social media platform. that prayer session, William Ruto and his brigade took the Kenya Panther campaign to Nyeri County. And the first thing that came from that campaign, it was abusive language and name calling. <laughs> For those who got chance to listen to Nyeri woman rep, Mkabi, there are some words she has uttered there. And beside this, she is comparing a thief to a witchcraft. I wanted to listen to her shortly. After this, we want to understand really what Mukabe is telling us. If it's true that William Ruto is a thief, and yet again, if it is true, Raila Odinga is the person she's trying to describe. <laughs> Gete moto goria wa fori ote kete ate. Jeshi na mwete kere. Ati mia dreda kumwera ne mra me nyona to kona to na bara ne ne. Ato mara ya kero kwa mwa jana wa ina makiu garuto ne moishi. Tola ugira to gozura moishi wakera morogi. Ato ana rumali na to tigozura moishi wakera morogi. Na kia ide moere. Now in as much I have done a translation to what Mukabi is saying. I'm also well informed that kuna wana mbao natusikiza hapa, lakini hawana uwezo wa kuona. So, this is what Mukabi has said. Kwa wale wanya waoni na wasiki kikuyu. Hameuliza watu wa norumoru. And this is what he's saying. Nataka kuwauliza hivi. Mnaweza kubali kupatia kiti cha urais mtu ambaye hajatairiwa. That's what he has said. <laughs> Tumesema tutacha, tutachagua Mwizi kuliko murogi. Si watu wanorumoru mutachagua mwizi kuliko murogi. That's actually what she has said in that video. Now we are continuing with the final discussion but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel but you are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who dropped comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more of viewers. Let us get back to our discussion. Now, when someone comes out of a prayer, a serious prayer being done, what you expect such a person to do is to address people, at least in a decent way, well guided with the prayer she has been going through. But this is an individual who came out from the prayer where they have told us that the battle they are facing in this election is not political but spiritual. Then the first thing they are saying on the podium comes out to be abusive and name calling. Sasa when a woman gets out and asks men if they are going to elect a man who is not circumcised, <laughs> you wonder what does she know about men? The same woman goes to an extent of asking the electorate between Mwizi and Mchawi. Mutachagua nani? 
Lakini pia anaenda to an extent of giving an answer that according to her it is better to choose a thief over a witchcraft. Ni heri wachagwe mwizi kuliko mchawe. What is Mkabi communicating to us? What is he telling us? I'm asking this because I know very well that the Nyeri woman rep has been working close with William Samuel Ruto. She has been closely working with William Ruto. And so, if she speak about William Samuel Ruto, it can be true. There is something she know about William Samuel Ruto. Because she has been a close ally to William Ruto, working closely with Ruto. So when she speak, she speak from the inner circle. You know, when a monitor lizard comes from the waters and tells you that the crocodile is not well, why should you doubt? You should believe. Sababu ametoka uko. And therefore, when Mukabi tells us that the means she is referring to is William Ruto, then why should we doubt that William Ruto is a thief? Mukabi is telling the electorate today that William Samai Ruto is a thief. And William Ruto being a thief, he's asking the people to vote for the thief. She has already told them that I'm presenting a thief to you. And I'm humbly requesting you to vote for a thief. So what wanyeri wakati wanaenda kufanya uamuzi wao on ballot, just in a few days, they should be informed that the person you dear is presenting to them has been described as a thief with the people close to that candidate. That is the message Mkabi is selling to the electorate, in my own view. The second thing she is saying that Raila Odinga ni mchawi. But we can argue on this. Nyeri woman rep has never worked closely with Raila Molo Dinga. She has never been an ally to Raila Molo Dinga. Haja usika kwa ukaribu na Raila Molo Dinga. Politically or even in business or anything. So this is a person who is not informed, she's not aware, and she has no evidence if Raila Molodinga ni mchawi. So before you say Raila is a witchcraft, or before she say this, what electorate should be informed is that this is a person who has never been close to Raila Molodinga, and therefore Whatever she's speaking here could be rumors. And in fact, it's not could be. It is rumors. She's speaking rumors to the electorate. So the electorate should treat what Mukabe is saying just as a mere rumors, just allegations. Because she's not well informed about Raila Odinga. She has never worked close with him. But whatever she's telling them about William Ruto could be true because she has been working closely with William Ruto. So on ballot, we have a thief on one side, according to Nyukabi, and we have another person whom she's not well our informed about on ballot. That's Raila Molodink. In my own thinking, that is what I can conclude here. Sasa hii maombe walikuwa nafanya kule Karen ilikuwa ya kuombea wezi na kama walikuwa naombea wezi kwani hawako badilika ama what can i say according to the statement coming from this woman rep should we treat the prayers Ruto has had with his allies in at uh, his official residence as of now the, the deputy president uh, deputy president official residence should we treat that prayer as a mere joke should we treat it as just a pr 
Or really, these people were seriously praying. The emotion wrote us hard in this prayer. Should we treat it as serious person deeply consulting God or a person who is practicing PR before Christians so that they can he can appeal to the emotion when they get to the ballot? I'm at seven in. I'm just asking questions. I don't know what to think about this. But that's my view. And I want to read your views through the comment section. So let us have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. Otherwise, I must say thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.